G'day y'all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at auto login for XFCE desktop. A little while ago I was setting up my Plex server and that was uh, with uh, using Peppermint. For the Plex server I had to make sure that it auto logged in and I could also switch it off with the power button. Um, so if I wanted to turn off the, the computer, I don't have to have a graphical user interface to do that. And obviously, if I want to start it up, I don't. The machine's sitting there by itself with no screen, so I don't really. I don't want to have to connect a keyboard or anything to actually log in to the desktop. So I thought I'll I'll set up auto login on um, on Peppermint, and that I thought that was going to be an easy task, but it didn't turn out to be as easy as what I first thought. Not difficult, but not as easy as, as well. So let's check that out. So here we are at the login screen of Peppermint. So let's log in to Peppermint here. This is a virtual box. Now I should have the commands set up to achieve this. I uh, just need to arrow up, I think, for my previous commands. So it's sudo nano etsy lightdm lightdm.conf. Now I thought I would have found something within the Peppermint Hub. Um, there's no real user here, users and groups, but there was nothing that I could see that uh, managed auto login. Password asked on login. Now you can change that, password asked on login, but if you change that to no password, you still have to click the button uh, to log in. Um, it doesn't auto log in as such. So that's the problem I was facing. So we go to sudo nano etsy lightdm lightdm.com. Let's check that out. Now if we scroll down here. Okay, so if we scroll down under, under seat, this seat here, um, Peppermint provides all these commands here in this uh, file and all you've got to do is put what you need after the equals value and they've got some explanations here as to what it all is so auto login user user to log in with by default so let's just scroll down under seat here and we go to uh, let me see here it is here so by default this will be as such you need to you need to comment this line and you need to put in your username in this case for me is PCTLC so we put that and we use the key combination control O and then enter to save and then control X to exit and that should be auto login set up for the system now, if you're not sure of your username, your username will always be before the at symbol here is your username. So all you need to do is copy that and that's your username. It's as simple as that. Now the alternative in Peppermint to changing this file, uh, because Peppermint uses the Nemo file manager, we have openers root here. So this is an alternative and we could go to file system at etc lightdm. Now you've got lightdm.com, so you could right click that. Uh, we don't have open as root, do we? I thought Nemo had a right click open as root when you right click on files. It doesn't look like that that's the case. So what we do here is we right click on the folder and open the folder as root. Put in your password and now we're in elevated privileges now we have opened up with elevated privileges we can open this file here and we are using the root account then you can scroll down or use your mouse whatever you want to do and then we could go to that um, and we can scroll down to this command here we could make our changes so if we didn't want so if we no longer wanted auto login we can just take away the username there well actually we can leave the username in there we could just comment that out with the hashtag symbol and we can just go file and save 
and that's done. That's saved. Or we can just get rid of the hashtag again and file and save. If that's an easier method for you, that's probably a better way. No need to worry about terminal in that case. Now the other thing I had to set up was fairly simple and straightforward process under Power Manager. And when the power button is pressed, shut down. So that's how I set up um, that's how I set up my Plex server. Um, so for auto login and also power button shutdown. So let's restart the system and make sure that this is auto logging in. And there we have auto login. Now remembering Peppermint is based on Debian. So this is the way it is on Debian currently. However, um, I found there's a different um, process when it comes to Zubuntu 2110. So let's check that out. And there's our login screen. So let's log into Zubuntu 2110. Now obviously Zubuntu being based on Ubuntu and it's 21.10 leading up to the 22 release, um, things are obviously moving forward and things are changing, I would have to think, because under Zubuntu, it's different. It's a different process to set up auto login. So let's have a look at my previous commands, uh, arrow up. So the path to this file here is um, user share lightdm lightdm.conf.d 60-zubuntu.conf. That's the file we need to change. So that's let's sudo nano that one. Put in my password. So user session equals Zubuntu. And then we enter, we go to the end of that line and press enter. And we put auto login dash user equals my username which I think on here I'm not sure whether it's PCTLC yes it's PCTLC is PCTLC sometimes I change I switch from my normal name to my PCTLC name <laughs> I just have to make sure of that so auto login dash user equals PCTLC so now we can control O and enter to save and control X to exit. Now that should be auto login set up. We'll check that out. Um, let's go to settings and power manager, wherever that is here, power manager, there we go. And the same deal there. Um, if you wanted to use the power button to shut down, you can do that here as well. Unfortunately, Zubuntu uses Thunar File Manager, which does not have open as root. I'm very sure they don't have that in preferences. If they do, I'd be very surprised. So yes, there's no open as root in um, Zubuntu. So even though you could use a share lightdm, lightdm.conf.d, and 60zubuntu.conf, you cannot open that as root. Now you can open with mouse pad, and you can type in here sudo, sudo mouse pad if you wanted to, if you wanted to use the editor that comes with the distro itself, you could type mouse pad. And you could do that with mouse pad. I just I thought I'd use nano because peppermint. I don't know whether peppermint had an installed text editor. Um, maybe they do. I just thought I'd keep it as nano to keep things simple across the board. But that's the other way you could do it. But uh, it's easier to get to um, with opening the folder as root in peppermint because they're using the Nemo file manager. So they're your other alternatives.
So let's check out to see whether we are auto logging in. Let's restart that. And there we have our auto login. And one more thing we're going to look at is um, MX21. So that's shut down Zubuntu 21.10. And we are now going to be looking at MX21. I don't know why this one decided to go on to the other screen. <laughs> oh, gee. Okay, so let's log into MX21. For some reason, full screen has gone a little bit funny. There we go. So with MX21, we go to MX Tools, User Manager, put in our password. And under Options, we go to User to Change. In this case, my username is Colin. And we select Login Automatically and we apply. Auto Login has been enabled for the Colin account. And if we wanted to go to the settings and under power manager as well here, we could also change to uh, shut down with the power button. So let's um, restart MX21 and check that out. And there is our auto login for MX21. So as you can see, there are different methods of auto login for the XFCE desktop, and it depends on which distro you're running. But I have to say, MX21 and their MX tools uh, give you the easy click and select option. Just click and select. It's as simple as that. There's no typing, there's no command line made it uh, a graphical feature to create auto login on the distro. So there's no messing about in the command line. Um, however, I'll leave the links below to all those different commands um, and locations or file locations that you have to update um, if you wish to auto login. As I said, it's not a hard task. It's not simple, but it's not difficult either like I said um, at the start of the video. It's, it's just annoying that we have to type in our username and so forth, whereas you've got um, distros like MX21 that do make it easier. So hopefully the XFCE desktop can catch up with the graphical solutions to um, helping people do simple tasks like an auto login. That'd be nice to see in the future. But in the meantime, that's uh, the way you can do it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it interesting and informative. And thanks for watching.